Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna go over an update to the frame gen mod today, and there is very good news. There is no more registry editing required. Um, so we'll get right into this now. Um, this is the website where you download the the package from. Um, I've had some people ask me whether the, whether you have to pay to download it, whether you know there's any issues with having to sign up for an account. Um, I signed up for an account probably a month ago um, so I could get access to this file. I've never had any problems with them. I've never even gotten an email from them or anything, so they don't bother you. There is no cost for logging into this, for creating the you know creating an account and logging into this to uh, to download this mod. It's definitely worth doing, so don't have any hesitation in signing up for this site to get access to this. What we want to do today, we're looking at the the 0 0.90 version of the of the mod, and the one that we want is the universal uh, version. Okay, there's three different versions. You want the the universal one. Um, do the manual download wherever it downloads to your computer. Um, I have a MS FS admin utilities folder and I've got the, the frame gen mod here. Uh, I've got its own folder. I've got all the old versions because I wanted to keep them in case anything happened, in case this disappeared, etc. So what you want to do is go into your most recent install minus 0.81. Uh, right click the restore NVIDIA, NVIDIA signature checks. I've been corrected on that a number of times. NVIDIA. Um, right click on that. Hit merge. Hit run. Yes. Okay. And it's gone. Um, so th that's the registry changes uh, reversed. Now what we want to do Go into wherever you've got this file, uh, wherever you've got your Microsoft Flight Sim Simulator.exe file, this one right here. For It should be in your Xbox games, Microsoft Flight, Flight Simulator folder. Um, if it's not on my channel, there's a, a playlist, uh, tech, trip, tech Tricks or something like that. Um, and there's a video in that playlist that shows you how to convert from the old um, install version to the new install version, which will give you this Xbox games folders, uh, Xbox games folder, Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. Um, so if you've gotten this far, if you've had the app installed, you know where this is. So all you want to do then, after you've re reversed the registry entries, is just this DLSSG to FSR3 AMD is better file and the NV ngx file those two delete and we're done okay that that is the old version uninstalled now you unzip the universal folder go in here um, there is a folder called dll version that's the one we want okay and when you open that um there's these two DLL files and there's a readme file that explains all this to you, okay? All you have to do is take these two files and put them in your Microsoft Flight Oh, jeez, you're kidding me. <laughs> and drag them into your Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, folder. Um, and that's it. It's installed. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do the registry edit, the merge, and all that nonsense again. So that's the update. Um, much easier to to uninstall it. All you do is just delete these two files. So no more messing with the registry. A um, couple other things that people have brought up um, that I think are worth mentioning regarding this mod. Um, the first one. Uh, a couple ways to get rid of uh, so there are times when uh, particularly when changing from like an internal to an external view or vice versa where you'll get stutters and it's it's not really like stutters like the landing stutters that we're all familiar with it's like a it's like a quick jitter that the that the sim has for maybe five ten seconds and i find that if you just sit it out it'll settle in and uh that they'll go away but if you're having that problem and they're not going away, 
um, click Alt Enter twice. Hit Alt Enter once, release it. Hit Alt Enter again, release it. What that does switches you from uh, full screen mode to windowed mode back to full screen mode, and that will get rid of these stutters, jitters, whatever you want to call them. Just real quick, Alt Enter, release, Alt Enter, release. Um, should do it. Um, Another one that people have found, especially with the new driver, the 537.42 driver, um, you really should have Bloom enabled anyway. But if you have, if you don't, enable Bloom. Enabling Bloom can can get rid of some of these jittering issues. The other thing is, people use AMD sharpening, the AMD FX sharpening setting in uh, in Flight Simulator, even if they have an NVIDIA driver or uh, nvidia card um i don't know why but they do uh but the other thing i've heard is that the amd fx sharpening setting either set it to zero or set it to 100 nothing in between zero and 100 will help get rid of that jittering and the last thing is turn off motion blur motion blur can be problematic with the frame gen mod and motion blur is horrible anyway. I don't know why anybody would have it uh, turned on. So get turn motion blur off, and uh, and that should help you. Um, I've also seen uh, a couple of videos now in the last few days uh, on the sh on deleting shader caches, um, which is important. And uh, all the ones that I've seen have missed one important step so i'm going to do my own video on that and i'll show you what that important step is um and i'm going to throw in one other thing in that video as well but we'll wait until that uh until that time but for right now this is the update uh much easier to install no registry issues to mess with and uh yeah hopefully um we'll see some improved performance and stability with this new version and I hope you guys are doing well and we'll see you soon.